Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another Event Hawk Help article. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to import and how to export your contacts within Event Hawk. All right, first things first, I'm already here, but you're going to be in your dashboard. You're going to want to log into your Event Hawk account on a desktop version. Again, you got to do it on the desktop version, your laptop, computer, whatever. You just can't log in on the mobile app and do this. So you're logged into Event Hawk. Your dashboard will load quicker than mine, hopefully. And on the left hand side, you see a, a contact tab. Click that. From here, it's really simple. If you want to export all of your contacts, click this little white box. It'll select all the 20 records that are currently on this page. But if you want to export all of your contacts, let's say you have like three, 500, 800 contacts you have accumulated and you would like to export them to somewhere else, you hit the select all 25 records. That's how many are in here. But for you, it will show all your contacts right here, how many you have total in your Event Hawk account. So you select that, select all 25 records or however many records you have. And from there, it is a one button. You press export contacts. They're like, are these the ones you want to export? And boom, you click export contacts. It downloads as a CSV file, right? Now, <clears throat> that's if you want to export all your contacts. But let's say you're coming from somewhere else and you have a full list of contacts that you want to import. To event hawk you're like i only have five people in my event hawk but i have 2500 customers in a contact list somewhere else perfect here's how you do it so right next to the export contacts button there is a import contacts button to do this you click that from here again it highly recommends all csv file types up to 50 megabytes in size are supported so if you have a CSV uh, file that's over 50 megabytes, then um, it might not um, upload properly, right? So you click upload a file. I'm going to upload the thing I just downloaded, right? I'm not going to actually upload it, but just for demonstration. You hit next. Then it brings you to the map, right? This is where you are able to kind of map out things like first name, last name, business name, company name, email, create date, last activity date, and field 13, right? Some of these, a lot of these are blank, right? So like this is when the account was created. That information, uh, you can see on the left-hand side, you can, you can, you know, assign it to any one of these. Do not disturb, birthday, uh, time zone, um, assignment, event date, order date. Event type, order type, uh, event address, contact ID, when are you available to start, right? There's a whole lot of things that you can assign anything to, right? Delivery time, page number request, return date, depart date, right? You can add any of those. Or if you don't see anything here on the right-hand side, you just click, I don't import data in unmatched columns. All right. On to the last step. You name it, right? This is a test, 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 right? This is uh, going to be imported, right? And I can, if I wanted to, which I highly recommend it for y'all, I can create a list of the contacts that I'm importing and call them test, test, import, right? And it will now be a new smart list on your contacts. And for a little more advanced features here, as you can see, what would you like to do with these contacts in the CSV file? Add to new and update existing contact records, add new contact records or update existing, right? So it's, you can choose any of the three you'd like. And then you can find existing contacts based on email address. Don't update empty values for existing contract. So basically there, if something's blank, this is saying don't update it. And then you can add tags, add new contacts to workflows and campaigns, anything you'd like. You turn that on. You select the you select the workflow you want these new contacts to be uh, have right away, basically. So if you want them to have the uh, December newsletter, the Christmas text, whatever it may be, you click that and then you press submit and you're all done.
And from there, I'm going to keep my press cancel. But from there, all your contacts will be here. And they'll have phone numbers, emails, all that other fun stuff. And that is how you import or export your contacts in EventHunt.